to Mimi's Kitchen. Oh, y'all, we had the best Mother's Day yesterday, and I hope you did as well. Now, I know you are not going to believe this. Most people that know me didn't believe it, actually. We went out to eat yesterday. We were able to get reservations at one of the local restaurants. And y'all, we were just all together. We had the best time. I didn't spend the day in the kitchen. The girls didn't have to clean up. So we just enjoyed one another's company. And the food was very good, y'all. <laughs> we decided they have it as many sides as I usually have on Sunday. <laughs> they had a room full of food, but it was yummy. Now, speaking of mothers, y'all, my family is growing fast. My granddaughter, Mackenzie, who is Colin's mother, is going to have another little boy. He'll be here in August. And then, y'all, you're not going to believe this. This is two not believes in one video. KK is going to be a grandmother. Woo! Oh, my goodness, y'all. That's hard for me to believe. She's my youngest. Graham, her son, and his wife, Kenley, are going to have a little boy in September. Y'all, that will give me five great-grandsons and one great-granddaughter. So we'll have a basketball team and one cheerleader. <laughs> so <laughs> that, that is going to be a wonderful family. Oh, y'all, we just love the little boys. So, hey, it's okay. We'll, we'll have a lot of fun. And they'll have a lot of fun playing together when we get together. Y'all know how I love comfort food. Well, this one today is really going to give you a big hug. <laughs> right here in Mondays with Mimi is a recipe for cheesy tater tot casserole. KK, come on, let's get this thing together. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put into, and you need a large bowl, y'all, because we're going to fold in these tater tots here at the end of it. So let's put our sour cream in here we'll get all of these things together be sure we get every little smidgen of this yep that's it and then one can of cheddar cheese soup i don't know that i've ever bought a can of cheddar cheese soup y'all <laughs> so this could be interesting we're gonna put that right there well, it sure looks like cheddar cheese, doesn't it? Ooh-wee. And then one envelope of this uh, Lipton's onion mix. Um, well, that's the back side of it. <laughs> now, y'all, when you buy this box, it has two in it. Now, pay attention to that, y'all, because we're only going to use one of them. So, now, I know sodium is a concern of a lot of people, and so... There is a brand that has this in low sodium. Mm -hmm. I, I did not see it or get it. So we're going to use what I have. And then two cups of Colby Jack shredded cheese. Okay, since we're going to use all of it, we just go cut the top off of it, KK, right here. And we'll put this... Well, and y'all, for you people who have trouble cooking, <laughs> that, that's not much cooking to this, I'm going to tell you that. <laughs> Mix so. these ingredients until they get well acquainted. Oh, y'all, that Lipton's onion soup always smells so good. Mm -hmm. I guess that, that must be why it tastes so good. It'll add that little zip to this thing. Okay, y'all, we're going to fold in two pounds of tater tots. Well, two things. I'm using the minis, because that's all they had yesterday. <laughs> and there is a two pound bag, but no, they didn't have it yesterday. <laughs> so we're going to do the math here, and we're going to use one bag and part of another bag. <laughs> y'all get the drift. <laughs> Y'all, you leave these things frozen. Don't sit them out the day you go make it because um, they'll tear up for one thing. That's, that's the main thing. So what we're doing is we're just going to keep tossing these until they're all covered. 
Now, let's see, KK. We need to add just a little bit of this one. <laughs> I have some math experts out there, y'all, that like to remind me of whether or not I do the right math. <laughs> so, all right. Now, according to what's in that bag, y'all, that should be two pounds. <laughs> You know what? I think I like the minis. I believe they'll do good, KK. I think so, too. Yeah. I don't know but what I would use that. Again, sometimes <laughs> necessity is the mother of invention. So, I believe that's going to that's gonna be good. So, y'all, we just want to be sure that all of these are covered. And you have to be kind of careful. I don't want to tear up the taters. Okay, y'all. I didn't cook yesterday, so it doesn't take much to get me out of the habit. Um, you need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Woo! And guess what? We're using a 9 by 13 casserole dish, and it does need to be greased. So guess what I'm greasing mine with? Butter. <laughs> okay. Good grief, y'all. This is so easy now. You know, with graduation coming up, a lot of you are probably going to be having cookouts and all kinds of celebrations for your graduate. Oh, wouldn't this go good with hamburgers? Mm -hmm. Oh, or hot dogs? Or you know what, y'all? If you'll go back and look when I did that bird dog video, I'll set you up a bird dog buffet. Sounds good. And then we're just going to spread this out. Oh, y'all. Okay, okay. This is going to be a hit. Okay, y'all. On the bottom rack. <laughs> okay. Right. Oven is nice and warm. Now, we're going to set our timer here on 45 minutes. I'll look at it at the end of 40 minutes just to see how it's doing. And let's let it bake away. The magic sound. Okay, y'all. It has been the 45 minutes. Now, I'm going to tell you, I did check it at the end of 40 minutes. <laughs> and I, I kind of thought it'd be okay to go ahead and take it out. But, you know, KK, she knows so much about cooking. <laughs> She said, let's leave it in there the full 45 minutes. I said, okay, whatever you want to do. So, this is 45 minutes worth. Oh, my goodness, y'all. I wish you could smell this. Mm. Wow. It smells so good. Doesn't it, KK? Uh-huh. I've been trying this, but just to be absolutely sure, y'all, I'm going to try it again. <laughs> yep, that's a big hug. <laughs> y'all, that is some kind of good, and, and I do love that flavor. But if you would like something different instead of the Lipton's, you could use the ranch seasoning. My family loves ranch, and so I'll probably try this the next time I make it. Okay, y'all, you know, and, and you've heard us say the blessing. And so yesterday when we were at the restaurant, well, we wanted to say the blessing, but it was a little awkward for 17 people to say it together. And so we asked Collins if he would say it by himself. And we explained to him that you'll have to say it loud now so all of us can hear it. And believe me, he said it loud and proud. And y'all... <laughs> Everybody in that restaurant got their food blessed yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all, life is so wonderful, I'm going to tell you. I hope you have a great rest of the week, and everybody remember, shine for Jesus.